So it is my uh, second day volunteering here at Gulf Coast Marine Society. I, uh, the first day I was here with David and we did laundry for about three and a half, four hours. But today I'm going to be socializing my dogs. <laughs> go ahead, go, go, go. of April and I just found out that Harlow got adopted three days ago which makes me really happy because she had been at the shelter for about a month and a half and didn't really know how to trust anyone who was super shy but then this nice couple came by and um, now she has a forever home. As a team we had a united goal of reducing the stray population in Fort Myers through ethical and humane treatment of animals. Taking this to heart we did research looking at the local shelters around town. In doing so, we decided that Gulf Coast Humane Society would be the best fit. This is because they don't euthanize and they have a wonderful record taking in almost 3,000 animals last year. Because Gulf Coast Humane Society is a non-profit organization run by volunteers and donations, we did our part by doing remedial work around the premises. This included doing things like running the dirty laundry, sorting donations, cleaning around the site, and socializing the newly processed animals. Breaking down the defensive walls of the animals through interaction and care was really a beautiful thing to see, and it showed that our efforts really did make a difference. In our project, our team used the engagement elements of direct serving to help the staff members of Gulf Coast Humane Society with their daily tasks, as well as the element of associating as socializing with the animals helps them to get used to and be more friendly with people, making them more likely to be adopted. As a team, we used the techniques of problem solving and civic dialogue. We addressed the issue of the spread of disease between animals by making sure each individual receives freshly cleaned laundry. Civic dialogue was used to speak with potential adopters to try and promote the animal's adoption. In doing our project, we addressed sustainable goals 3, good health and well-being, and goal 15, life on land, by promoting the animal's adoption, allowing for more strays to be brought in to the shelter and by decreasing the prevalence of disease within the stray population. I started this project because I was staying in Lehigh at the time and I realized the very heavy influx of strays that there were in the area. After finishing it, I realized there was a lot of work that was done behind the scenes in order for an animal to be adopted. Um, the community at the shelter was super, super welcoming and it made the entire experience a lot more enjoyable for me and my group mates as well. There is not just surrendered animals there as well. There is a lot of animals that have been through the worst imaginable, and if it wasn't for the staff or the volunteers there, I think it would take a very, very long time for them to be able to find their home. Okay, yeah, I just, uh, I got locked in the, uh, the dog kennel. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call and uh, see if they can come help. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, there are people here that I was like able to like tell that I unlocked one of the doors to get out. Um, yeah, I didn't realize how much time I'd spend in there, like with Martita and whatnot. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like by the time they like were telling the do dogs um, good night at like around five when they close. Um, <laughs> I, it didn't click with me until like five minutes after all the doors were locked that uh, I, it was time for me to go. But yeah, so <laughs> that's uh, that's how day two went. Gulf Coast was also really instrumental in kind of helping us all understand what it really took to give an animal um, meaningful life. 
And I think that that's a really important lesson that we kind of heard of and talked about, but we never really understood how much work and effort goes into making sure that these animals are living happy, healthy lives. The evidence of our success is seen most clearly in the happiness of the animals of Gulf Coast Humane Society. Through our time spent volunteering, we enriched the lives of all the animals we came into contact with. Whether we were playing with the cats, running around with the dogs, or reading to the kittens, we personally touched the lives of all the animals and helped their chance for adoption. So, um, I was, uh, playing with Nancy, and, um, you know, don't wear long clothes when you're playing with, uh, puppies, because During the end of the project, we started noticing that a lot of the animals that were there when we first started were opening up to us, which rarely happened when we started, due to the fact that there were more new intake compared to animals that were there for a couple months. As well as that, we also noticed a lot more clean laundry going into the kennels, which is really helpful for the animals that just had surgeries or are recovering from skin infections, which is very common in strays. From this experience, I learned that individuals can make more of a difference themselves than they think they can. It's an empowering feeling to see that work you do can make a difference, so I'll continue to offer my help wherever possible. I would like others to know that adopting animals from a shelter is a really good option if you're thinking about bringing an animal home.